This is like a weird feeling though. It makes me feel so much better, so much cleaner. It's been about two hours since you last saw me cleaning out my poop tank. <laughs> She's a winner. I don't have to hide in the closet to eat the huh. dessert. You ready for some bacon? Are you gonna that whole piece? No. <laughs> What's up gang? Thanks for tuning into the channel. So what better way to start off my wife and mine first little outing with this RV by ourselves than cleaning out the poop tank. Yeah, I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but it can't be worse than uh, what we've been dealing with because it's so hot this black tank's getting a little spicy that's the best way i can put it so hopefully got the water hooked up i got my little water meter to help me figure out how much i'm putting back into this tank now we'll fill it up hopefully looks like nice clean water coming in <laughs> this isn't the how best you, part. How do you know how far to fill it? I've got this water meter right here that tells me how many gallons I'm putting into it. Oh. So, yeah, I don't definitely, because the only place for it to go is up in the vent. Pick up the roof and out. Oh. So I'm going to put about 10 gallons in right now and, and flush it and see all the stuff that comes out. It smells really good over here. Yeah. This okay. is like a weird feeling though. It makes me feel so much better, so much cleaner getting fresh water in here. It's like a, a camper enema. Yeah, it's a camper enema. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. It was not clean in there. I could sit here and do this 20 times. Oh, is that toilet paper coming out? Probably. So just to kind of give you guys a close up now that I don't have any brown water coming out, you've got this hose hooked up and you got a little valve right here that when I turn it, shoots water up into the black tank. I'm gonna close the main valve and I'm gonna start putting in more water. And I've got that meter here that shows me how many gallons I'm putting into my black tank because I darn sure don't want to overflow it. So this is the fourth time I've actually rinsed this tank out. So I'm gonna get this done and then we'll see you at camp. So hey gang, we are uh, finally kind of packed up and moved into the to the camper. It's been about two hours since you last saw me cleaning out my poop tank. I don't think I've ever said that before on, on a video. Tara and I are enjoying a Bishop pineapple cider. And uh, this is just gonna kind of be an adults only trip. This is the first time, like I said, that you and I have been in the little camper since we've got it without kids. We love our kids but we also love to let grandparents <laughs> to, to let grandparents take care of them for a week or so. So the camper already feels bigger without two little chitlins running around. Yeah. We do have pickles. She's down there, passed out. I don't know what we're gonna do. We got a deck of cards. I'm trying to remember how to play this game. So we've got some kind of game that we like to play, but we can't gin. remember. It's kind of like gin. Is it gin or is it, is it kind gin. of? Gin, but people call it gin or gin rummy. Or gin rummy, I don't know. See where this little, Adults only trip takes us. So many bad things you could yeah. say to that. <laughs> Loser has to jump in the lake naked. Yeah, no. <laughs> nope. Yep. Where are you at? I can see your cards. No, you can't see them though. <laughs> We're not good enough to really cheat yet. No. But little known fact, not that any of you folks care, but I just got a, uh, a notification on my phone that today, 12 years ago, I think it was it must, 12 or 12. Yeah, so 12 years ago to date, I proposed to this one. Yes. Not that this little trip was planned or anything, but uh, I was sitting there winning cards with her and I got a notification on my phone. No, you didn't. All I brought were some weenies. And it kind of feels like you're in a convection oven out here. 
What's a forbidden hot dog? Can't tell. No. <laughs> The ground is so hard. I gotta go get my belt. What? Oh, wait a minute. Well, that was, uh, gang, I didn't get skunked. That was uh, totally unexpected. Well, gang, <laughs> she's a winner. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't get skunked, honey. Whoa, oh, almost just fell. All right, let's go have some fun. So gang, I gotta be honest with you here. I've, uh, I've turned down probably 15 of these little e-bike things, uh, cause everyone's doing them. But I really wish I would have tried one of these sooner because they're absolutely a blast. They're like an adult moped, I guess. I don't even know how to describe them, but they're just super fun. Cause they all look kind of dorky and like an e-bike like an e and I didn't want that. Uh, and I finally picked this one because it to me it doesn't look like it. We're, we're gonna try to get Tara on one if we can. I'm not sure if we'll be able to though. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. I was real hesitant to pull the trigger, but they're a blast, folks. And here we are. We're back home. Oh, you fell. But you do have to kind of park these things pretty safely because they tend to grow legs really quickly. So I'm gonna put him or her, however you wanna think of it, over here by the trailer. It's just a pretty cool, I mean, they're an e-bike, so they don't look that cool, but to me, this one looks pretty cool. I did take the fenders off, so it's got fenders on the front and back, and I took those off because they make it look even more uh, super dorky, but, <clears throat> This thing does fold up here, right here on the side, and it just flips up like a scissor. And I actually fit this thing in my truck on the way down here. The pedals fold up, so it's just, I mean, and it was hurling me 22, 21, 22 miles an hour up some hills. So it's got a little bit of power. I think it's got a 500 watt motor in it, but 40-ish, 45 mile range, I think, which is more, more than enough for me to go check out some camp spots on my, on my upcoming episodes for parks that I've never been to. I think it's gonna be a quick way for me to kind of go around the lake and take some notes of some spots that I wanna visit. It's been pretty fun, but Tara's in the camper and I'm, I'm dripping sweat. Oh, let's go check our catfish rig. Nope. I guess one baby catfish is about my quota for this trip until Tara comes out here in the morning and uses Mr. Willie's baits and uh, catches a lunker, but Oh, jeez, guys. I mean, sweat dripping down my eyes. And I wasn't even pedaling, so. Whew. There really is no relief right now in sight. It's actually 82 degrees in here, which feels so much better being outside. I was on that e-bike, and I'm drenching wet. And we got the missus making a cicada? Yeah. It's not a good thing, no. <laughs> yeah. 
Do you have the body? Oh yeah, we can. So she's making a cicada, a crocheted cicada. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm working on his face now. <laughs> So this is how we spend adults only trip. Crocheting and e-bike riding. We are crazy. I was listening to my book on tape. Oh, and a book on tape. But yeah. we were gonna cook some ribeyes tonight, but it's already 7.30. It got way later, quicker than we thought it did. So we're gonna save the ribeyes for tomorrow night and just kind of snack on some food tonight. We still um, have that uh, nacho dip. We got nacho dip. Loaded nacho, Loaded nacho dip. And then we got this one down here. <laughs> well, stay tuned, folks. I don't know what, what's going to happen next. I've already beat her four times in cards, so. I won twice. Okay, I've won four. She's won two. So, I'm the champion. Amazing dinner tonight. Chopped barbecue and Doritos. Tomorrow's gonna be a record cool day. Yeah, 96 degrees tomorrow. But before I forget, before I pass out tonight, I wanna show you folks this little orange puck. We paid for this. This is not a sponsor, but we've been trying to figure out a way to get like hot spots so we can watch Netflix and stuff. This little guy right here. It's called the Simo. And it's just a mobile hotspot. And I looked at three or four of these type of things. And this was the only one that I could find where you can actually go onto the app and change between T-Mobile, AT&T, and Verizon. The TravelFi that's just like this kind of does it on its own and you have to hope that it switches, but you can actually force this one to switch through the app. And uh, it's 50 bucks for 10 gigs, which is kind of expensive, but you get to keep the gigs that you don't use. They don't expire after a month. So you can keep rolling them over and over and over and over. And we tested this out when we got here and Netflix worked like it does at home. So far, this little, this little gizmo has worked incredibly well. We have no service here. The service is awful. I can't even get a call. And we're streaming Netflix right now and it works perfectly fine. So you guys are looking into figuring out a way how to get internet I don't know why Starlink is so good. This is working fine. I don't know. And it's quite a bit cheaper, but we're gonna scarf down these barbecue sandwiches. And probably we call got, we got desserts too. Oh, and we got, yeah, we have lots of dessert. Yeah. So we're crazy adults. <laughs> I don't have to hide in the closet to eat the huh. dessert. <laughs> She's done that. If I get a bowl of ice cream, I'll hide in a different room from Ella. Our little girl likes to eat. Ella loves this stuff. Eating by candlelight. Should we make it romantic? <laughs> That's like midnight gas station color. This is? No, the orange one. Oh, color. yeah. All right, Mr. Willie, thanks to you, I'm gonna be trying out this Whopper Plopper that you sent. I do appreciate it, and uh, it's way later than I anticipated trying to use this lure, but 
Our coffee maker's just now going off. It didn't go off at the right time and it's eight o'clock in the morning. So we're gonna throw this out there, see if we have any luck, but my gosh, there's a ton of kayakers out there today. But yeah, we're gonna give it a shot. See if you're giving me some good luck, Willie. Well, I guess my next excuse is I need a kayak. No luck yet, so let's, let's go whip up some breakfast and uh, get that all-important cup of coffee. So today's going to consist of eggs and bacon, Charcuterie. charcuterie boards, Charcuterie. charcuterie boards. Yeah. Netflix and chill. <laughs> Literally meant that. Netflix movies. Making some cicada crochets. Yeah. Cicada crochets. And some gaming. Some gaming. Some Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Yes. That's what I'm really looking forward to. Okay, let's test out the bacon. Probably could have crisped it up a little bit more. Really? I guess that black stone just turns things a little darker then. It's still good. You ready for some bacon? Are you giving her that whole piece? No. Oh, okay. Ready? Oh. Is that the best ever? Chewed a little. <laughs> This will give me the energy I need to do nothing. <laughs> so we got grapes. We got our fruit what? section, then we got our nut section, then we got cheese, then we've got our pickled items. This is whipped cream cheese with my homemade apple butter mixed in it. So that's like our sweet dip. You can use it with the with the fruit or I've got oh. those graham crackers. Okay. And then salami and turkey chunks. And so the other board is going to have our dippers, like our crackers and... So we still got to put, have you put all of this stuff in? Yeah, all of this is in now. Okay. All the fruit, all the meat, and all the pickled items are on this side. Okay. And that one's excited about it. <laughs> Here, let's see. Oh, piece of cheddar. Here's your cheese tax. Oh. <laughs> Hot dogs, bacon, and cheese. That's gonna be a stinky camper. <laughs> oh man, I'm just gonna have the worst parts. What? He's stinky. He's stinky. Is that good? Uh, somebody wants my, more. He's staring at my hand. What is that? It's a catfish. Oh, okay. Oh, yours, yours be mine. What do you think about that pickle? Nice. Oh, cool. Not too hard to unhook either. There we go. Oh! oh. <laughs> Now he's all dirty. Good one. Yeah, there you go. He's a little guy. Well, lunch is served. So we got the char charcuterie board. And all we did was we got one of these uh, tackle box inserts. 
and she kind of cut and put the little dividers in whatever, wherever she needed it. And then, I don't know, all kinds of different cookies and pita bread, fried pickles and ranch dip. This is going to be lunch because we're going to have ribeyes tonight, so don't want to go too crazy. We got to stop eating at three. Yes, we made a, <laughs> we made a deal to stop eating at three, so we're hungry for ribeyes tonight. Yep. I'm being chivalrous and letting you reel in all the fish. I appreciate it. It's fun. Let's go see what we got, Pickles. It's like the one I caught yesterday. It's so cute. Oh, man. That's going to be fun getting out. Is it hooked through the top of his mouth? Top and bottom. How did he do that? I don't know. Oh. It's a little one. He's pretty, though. He'll be a pretty one later. Yeah. Go eat some food. Well, this is what I was trying to do on a couple episodes ago when I had to cook my ribeye in a jet boil. So hopefully this turned out well. Should we make it romantic? <laughs> a little candle at dinner. Too bad it doesn't have a flicker option. Does it? I don't know. No, I don't think so. But we can, what color do you like? No, that was fine. That was fine. This is more restauranty. Salad? You want me to just, are you gonna eat out of this bowl? I'll just eat out of the bowl. Well, chopped salad. <laughs> I did not expect to see that. You getting your butt wiped? Yes, Dad. Part of my morning routine. I don't know where my brush That's went. no joke. She gets her butt wiped. Well, good morning. <laughs> well, that's as close to a sunrise as you're going to get this weekend. And you guys have seen that sunrise a couple times, but 
this particular spot that we're at this weekend. Uh, it's kind of, of a traditional spot that we that we go to, so it's nothing new, but it's one that we like the most because we're right here on the lake and it's just a pretty good view. We're up a little bit earlier than yesterday. So maybe we'll catch the sun coming up here in a few minutes. But coffee time. You know where my brush is? I couldn't find it. I didn't use a brush. No, 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 no. What did she just see? I don't know. She just wound up. She's just gonna cut it in half. She can't, these don't cut. Oh. You sure you don't wanna go for one more spin on that thing before I pack it up? Just once? She's scared of the of the bike. It took me six months. To recover from that other I'll tell you the scooter is was a little sketchy. No. These are just like riding a bike. I'm sure. If you said, hey, let's go for a normal bike ride, I'd be like, absolutely. Let's go on a motorized bicycle? No thanks. Okay. You can't really see the real one. Oh, he's climbing. Oh! Well, that was a fail. <laughs> so this is why I'm gonna use this for my scouting trip when I head up to uh, Oklahoma. There we go. Now it's not super light, but it still pulls up enough. Get thrown in here. Good to go. That almost caught a really cool frog. You did? But it got out of my hand. Uh oh. Well, folks, that is a wrap for this little episode of our adults only trip. We got super crazy, did a lot of crocheting, video gaming, <laughs> video gaming, and uh, not catching it. Well, we caught catfish. So. Yeah. That's about it. And Willie, sorry, your lures didn't work for me on this trip, but uh, I'll give them a shot next week. But. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll be back to truck camping next week. In Oklahoma? No, not Oklahoma next week, but oh. but yeah, truck camping next week in the heat. I think it's just going to get worse for about another month, but we'll stick it out. For myself and Tara and little Pickles. Pickles. Pickles, say bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> See y'all.